and welcome to our BBC School Report. This week has seen the sixth form exam week in full swing, auditions for the school play A Midsummer Night's Dream are taking place, and finally a special report questioning should more money be spent on educational technology. Our technology correspondent Hannah reports. Thank you Oliver. As you can see I'm here at the Grange School in Hartford in one of the rooms where technology is used on a daily basis ranging from computer science lessons to coding clubs. Although on the surface technology seems obvious that it carves the way forward we ventured further to find the advantages and disadvantages of technology's role in schools. Last year, schools across the country spent an estimated £900 million on educational technology and since the rapid growth of technology's use over the past few years, 97% of teenagers have experienced an increase in their digital skills. Whiteboards are the new blackboards and it appears textbooks are steadily phased out to be replaced by iPads. Classroom games including Kahoot and Quizlet Live are also highly popular and other apps including Shobi, Class Dojo and Show My Homework are used both nationally and internationally. Such apps and websites promise to manage the teacher's workloads effectively and show behaviour management software, for example, thus acting as an incentive for the teaching recruitment crisis and to encourage pupils to make positive behaviour choices. Clearly, it seems apparent that technology is a helpful assistant in the fast-paced world of education. But does it influence the pupils and inspire them to be more studious, while also learning in new formats to stimulate their minds? We interviewed some pupils here at the Grange to gain a broader student perspective. There's a lot more online because you can use Google and things, whereas in a textbook you don't have as many resources so you can't access as much. Multiple different textbooks for different lessons and sometimes you might get modelled up with the long folder or something, but if you just have one iPad or computer with everything on that, it's much easier. We also interviewed members of staff and our own EdTech coordinator to gain their views on the matter. I absolutely think EdTech is essential in all of the learning that we do at school. I think it is essential, yeah, because I think that we have become so ingrained with the use of tech in society and in all forms, whether it's creativity or anything else, that I think actually to keep it out of the classroom would probably be foolish. Um, I think it's really important that it, um, it, it gets used in an educational context really sensibly. Um, so yeah, I think it probably is quite essential to the way that we teach. We've got people who are now coming up and teaching who are in their early 20s who have, like yourselves, always known technology. So it's, it's second nature. Um, and to be able to um, manipulate footage and information and to create quizzes and challenges using technology is really important. And finally, we got in touch with Mr Simon Hay, a co-founder of Firefly Learning. The company claims to allow more teaching time, a variety of learning methods for the pupils to engage in and encourages parent involvement in their child's learning journey. Originally, Firefly was formed by Mr Hay and his fellow classmate Joe Matthewson, who developed the programme after undertaking their GCSEs, with the aim to create a successful learning platform to be used by teachers and students internationally. As our school uses this platform to great effect, we thought it would be fitting to ask him for his opinion. Well, ultimately, our aim as a, as a business now is to... Um, to improve the school experience for, for students like we were so that everybody can, can ultimately achieve their full potential, not just in their learning outcomes, but in, but in later life. So uh, the reason we're doing this is because we care about the impact ultimately. Um, and so we want to kind of see how can we scale up as much as possible, how can we make as much of a difference as we can to the experience that, uh, that students have and how can we do that for as many students as we can. There is huge potential and I think we're really just scratching the surface at the moment of, of the impact that tech in education can, can have. In conclusion, therefore, it seems that technology is being used in schools to great effect and due to the numerous advantages for all members of the school community, the government and schools across the country should be looking into investing more into this cl vital classroom tool, which can be seen as the next step in modern day education.